There are so many ranks in the Royal Air Force. For some people, what each rank means and the order in which they progress can be confusing. In this video, we look at a simple guide to the Royal Air Force ranks in order. Aircraftman. This is the lowest rank in the Royal Air Force. It's presently a training rank only, and no airmen in service hold this rank. Aircraftmen do not wear any rank insignia. Leading Aircraftman. This is the second lowest rank in the Royal Air Force. As they gain more experience, they become better accustomed to life in the Air Force and can assist newer personnel. Senior Aircraftman This rank was introduced in 1951 and is generally treated as a non-supervisory rank. Personnel at this level are able to progress to higher ranks with more experience and training. Senior Aircraft Technician From 2005, senior aircraftmen in technical trades were promoted to Senior Aircraft Technician. This allows those holding these ranks to perform tasks specific to their duties, unsupervised. Lance Corporal A Lance Corporal will generally become mentors over aircraftmen but not usually aircraft technicians. They will be given more and more responsibilities to advance their careers. Corporal A corporal's role will vary, but generally they will be expected to take command over a number of personnel and perform their role in such a way as to help those junior to them. Sergeant a sergeant in the Royal Air Force is given significant responsibility over others within the force. They are expected to have experienced leadership abilities at this rank, in difficult and challenging situations. Chief Technician This is an NCO rank which is only held by airmen in technical trades and by musicians. Airmen in non-technical trades progress directly from sergeant to flight sergeant. Flight sergeant. This is a senior NCO rank in the Royal Air Force. It is equivalent to a staff sergeant in the British Army. Warrant officer. This rank is an officer in a military organisation who is designated an officer by a warrant as distinguished from a commissioned officer who is designated an officer by a commission, and a non-commissioned officer who is designated an officer often by virtue of seniority. Pilot Officer This is the lowest commissioned rank in the Royal Air Force. This will be held by an officer who has chosen to join the Royal Air Force as a non-graduate direct entrant officer. This is equivalent to the rank of second lieutenant in the British Army. Flying Officer Generally, this is the first rank held by an officer following completion of training. A flying officer might serve as a squadron pilot or an administrative officer and is technically given charge of personnel or resources. Flight Lieutenant at this rank, a flight lieutenant is typically an experienced pilot who does not have command of other personnel. But in some ground or training units, a flight lieutenant is usually the officer commanding a squadron. Squadron Leader At this rank, a squadron leader will usually take command of ground operating squadrons, which are subdivisions of a wing. A squadron leader has displayed years of experience and is the first of the senior officer ranks. Wing Commander 
In the early years of the RAF, a wing commander commanded a group of three or four aircraft squadrons. In the current RAF structure, a wing commander will take charge of a wing, which is an administrative subdivision of a station. Group Captain At this rank, a group captain will take command of a major ground training station, as well as an expeditionary air wing. A group captain will display impressive leadership abilities at this level. Air Commodore The Air Commodore is a one-star rank and the most junior Air Officer rank. This is equivalent to a Brigadier in the British Army. An Air Commodore will generally have decades of experience within the Royal Air Force. Air Vice Marshal the Air Vice Marshal is a two-star rank, and equivalent to a Major General in the British Army. At this rank, it is common for them to take command of an RAF group. Air Marshal Air Marshal is a three-star rank, and equivalent to a Lieutenant General in the British Army. An Air Marshal will usually be working at the level of government, and assist with implementing policy. Air Chief Marshal Air Chief Marshal is a four-star rank. They are highly experienced within the Royal Air Force, and due to the minimal amount of serving personnel at this rank, obtaining it is highly competitive. Marshal of the Royal Air Force the Marshal of the Royal Air Force is a five-star rank. This was first created in 1927, but the name was changed from Marshal of the Air. It has typically been used more as an honorary rank in recent times, but still technically the highest rank in the Royal Air Force. Perhaps you or a family member has served or is serving in the Royal Air Force. Which rank do you think is the backbone of the Royal Air Force? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.